While further away from home, Hawaii is bracing itself for two storms to hit in the next few days. Hurricane Izel is expected to make landfall tonight, and Tropical Storm Julio will follow a few days later. Now, these are the first hurricanes or tropical storms to hit Hawaii in more than 30 years. And with two approaching, citizens are bracing themselves for the worst. Former NAU student Cheyenne Orta from Kailua, Oahu, spoke with us about her family and how they're preparing for these big storms. Be ready to go gas up your vehicles. There's actually a lot of gas stations around here that are out of gas because people are filling up so often. Buying food and water is a big thing. I know a lot of stores around here actually are running out of water being stocked up on because people are buying cases of water six cases at a time. We are really, I actually live extremely close to the beach, so we're actually one of those people that would have to be evacuated if so. And, um, Right now, we just have to go to higher ground, nothing too crazy. We feel like we're pretty much going to be okay. It seems like the hurricane is really just going to affect the big island mainly, and then it's going to just kind of bypass all the other islands. The first storm is headed directly for Hilo, Hawaii. The mayor's executive assistant there, Kevin Dayton, says residents are very concerned. We haven't even had a tropical storm directly hit this island since 1958. We've been so lucky people are sort of used to seeing the storm veer off at the last minute and it just doesn't look like that's going to happen this time. Well, it sounds like they're hoping for the best and bracing for the worst in Hawaii right now. Joining us now is meteorologist Lee Bourne. Lee, can you tell us about what this storm looks like from your perspective? Well, certainly uh, Hurricane Izel is imminent and is going to hit the Big Island tonight. It's already moving in. And then we have our second storm, which is Hurricane he uh, Julio, which is still a thousand miles away from the Hawaiian Island chain. Here is Hurricane Izel, and this one will hit the Big Island tonight. It's just about 100 miles off the east coast of the Big Island of Hawaii. We're going to zoom it in a little. Here it is on the visible satellite imagery. A pretty good eye earlier, but now it's starting to lose its structure. Notice how it just kind of starts to spread out and get disorganized. Here's the big island. Then we start getting into Oahu, Maui, and Kauai. Those islands will get hit tomorrow in a much weaker state. The storm system is moving to the east, southeast, and outer rain bands are already starting to make its way into Hawaii. The big threats with this storm system are going to be the damaging winds. It's not a super strong storm. Right now, winds are at 75 miles per hour. There will be a big storm surge, and that's always a big threat with flooding. And there will also be some flooding rain as well as this thing moves through overnight tonight. Here's the current look at the radar, the big island, and some of these outer bands starting to move in. You're not even seeing the main storm system move into the radar scene yet and then we got Hawaii, uh, Kauai or Maui just off to the north there and nothing's happening up there still a little bit quiet okay so here's the track of the storm over the next couple days here it is here's the Hawaiian island chain it's a hurricane it starts to weaken tonight as a tropical storm as it moves across the big island it stays to the south of Hawaii or Maui Kauai and Oahu throughout the day tomorrow, still flooding rains, damaging winds, and then it starts to move away from the chain as we get into the coming weekend, and it weakens and moves out into the open Pacific. So talk about Julio really quickly. That's going to possibly make its way towards Hawaii by late in the weekend. It's going to move to the north side. This is the cone of the possibility where it could move, and right now it looks like it's going to miss just off to the north, but we'll be keeping a close eye on it, and they'll just be recovering from Hurricane Azel. So Julio hopefully we'll miss the Hawaiian Islands.